Welcome to the third tutorial in our series of screencasts showing you how to use the Open Modeler integration tools within QGIS. In this tutorial I'm going to show you how you would create models using layer sets rather than layers loaded inside of QGIS. To do that I will, I'm going to close QGIS and start a fresh session. In this scenario you would not be using layers that are already loaded inside of QGIS but rather you would be creating a layer set which defines one or more layers that are named um, into a collection called the layer set. In order to do this we use the Open Modeler Layer Set Manager which you can find as an icon over here on the Open Modeler toolbar. When you initially open it you'll see that there are no layers defined, no layer sets defined. So to create our first layer set we can simply give it a name and a description. And now I can add one or more layers to the layer set. I do this by clicking on the plus icon over here and then I navigate using the dialog that appears to the directory containing my raster data. In my case again it's under my documents GIS data, lat long and it's under here in world clim. I choose the whole world clim directory and I get a tree showing all the different raster layers that could be found under that directory. And now I'll be choosing three layers from my present data set and then I'm going to create another layer set for the future in 2050 with matching layer names. So I, I'm going to take precipitation and on my keyboard I don't have an option to deselect so I'm going to come back in a second and deselect the T-mean layer here. I'll take those four layers and then I'm just going to remove T-mean. So I end up with precipitation, maximum temperature and minimum temperature. I can choose a mask layer for this layer set as well by just selecting any one of them. And then I say apply. When I say apply a new layer set definition is added to the available layer sets list. I'm going to create one more layer set this time with future data. To do that, I click on the new layer set icon over here. And now I'll give it a name. And a description. And then I will go and select some layers to add to my layer set. In this case, I'm going to use layers from my 2050 directory. And I'm going to be using the Hadley Climate Model um, A to A uh, scenario. You'll notice that the three layers that I'm selecting are semantically equivalent to the, the layers that I use from my presence data set. In other words, I've got precipitation, maximum temperature, and minimum temperature. It's important to bear in mind that the units used to describe these layers must be the same. So for example, if your present day data is in Celsius, your future data must also be in degrees Celsius. Okay, and once again I'll click Apply, and you see I now have two layer sets defined. I'm going to close the layer set manager, and we can then proceed to do a search like we did the previous time. I'll do the same species again. You'll see that the dialog remembered the species that you last used. And I'll just wait a moment while the search commences. When the search is complete, once again you'll see the point data added to your project. I'm going to click Finish. Now I'm going to start the Open Modeler Experiment um, Builder and follow the same steps as last time. 
I'm going to call this experiment future scenario. And I'm going to click next. Once again, I'm going to be using species layer from my QGIS project rather than one from the file system. I'm going to click on next. Once again, I choose which field contains a taxon name. And once again, I choose which taxon I want to use within that file. I'll once again use Bioclim as a simple example. But this time you'll see that the run my model using these layers is grayed out because I don't have any environmental data loaded in my QGIS project. But I have the possibility of using a layer set which has been defined um, a few minutes ago when I used the layer set manager. You'll see that there are two layer sets listed here, the future and the present um, layer sets that I created. I want to create the model using present data and then I will be projecting it into a future scenario. In the next step I now have the option to choose where this model should be projected into. I can project it into both present and into the future, which I will do. Optionally you can also project it only into present or only into the future. And then I'll click finish to complete the process. And then I can click OK when the models are finished running. I'm going to just zoom in to the extent of my Tanzania study area. You'll see that I now have two species distribution models added to my project. I'm going to alternatively turn this first one on and off so that you can see the difference between them. I'll just make this a bit wider so that you can see that this one is the present prediction and this one is the future prediction. So if I turn this off, you can see how the prediction changes into the future scenario. Take a look at this area over here, which is marginal area for the species in the present, and it becomes an optimal area for the species in the future. Conversely, this area here, which is optimal in the present, reduces in size substantially and becomes a marginal area. So using this simple technique, you can create different scenarios for different species by and predict what might happen to the speci species distribution in the future given different climatic um, changes. Thank you for watching this, the third in our series of simple tutorials on how to use OpenModeler within QGIS.